My name is Yusef Bunchy Shakur. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Uh, today I'm getting prepared, ready for the sixth annual, ninth overall, restoring the neighbor back to the hood, uh, family fun day, school supply giveaway that we do right here in the city of Detroit, particularly in the neighborhood of Zone 8. But we welcome everybody from the city of Detroit to come out, partake in the event, uh, receive backpacks, receive love, and receive hope. Now I can ask you a quick question. Now what's some of the um, differences between black business owners or business owners in general living in the city of Detroit versus living outside the city of Detroit? Uh, I mean, first of all, I have to look, when I hear that question, you know, you have to look at it from a racial dynamic. Uh, the fact that matter, we're talking about the city that's 85 percent black, the neighboring surrounding cities that 85 percent white, or some some other ethnic group. So when we look at those, examine those those racial dynamics based upon the, the blackness of it, we we lack a commitment to ourselves. So when you look at uh, white white business, they understand the commitment to supporting white white schools, supporting white churches, white events, and things of that nature. They do it hands down. Particularly black people, we we struggle with that based upon the uh, the, the racing of who we are, you know, stripping of us our name, our culture. Uh, many of us who who take on uh, the subculture, whether it's gangsterism, thugism, bourgeois politics that eliminate us from you know, really being concerned about black people. You know, black people, we have an issue as far as saying we should support black people. And I, and I, I don't say that with a blanket statement, because there's a lot of black people that don't support black people. But I'm saying in the sense of for the betterment of all of us, not just for, not, I don't want you to just support in the urban network for my family, but for all our families. Because if my family win, your family win, because it, that's the mentality that we have to have. So that's the, I think the huge difference particularly how we've been raised in America in the sense of being stripped of who we are, which doesn't denote us as, as black people of committing ourselves financially. Because you look at the dollars and cents. You know, uh, historically and you know, nationally, you know, black people, we, we're worth um, you know, billions of dollars, most of, more than uh, some nations across the world. But we have no power, because all that money is leaving our community. So just, just, just think, if we just chose to economically decide to support ourselves. So when people come to Urban Network, they buy a book, they buy a t-shirt. When we got the kitchen open, they buy uh, some food. That money goes back into buying these backpacks. You know, supporting community support. So people understand and they see where their dollars are going. Their dollars are, sure, it's supporting this business, but it's supporting this community that believes, I mean, supporting this business that believes in this community. When you look at a, a business district such as Livinois from six miles to eight miles, it's, 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 it's in the center of, of, of a highly upscale um, bourgeois community. You know, you got, I can't think of the names of, the, of those communities, but very wealthy, particularly off the do black folks there. So, you know, I'm, and I'm not mad at uh, you know, Asians, white people, Arabs. What they've always done was, you know, they looked at fundamentally where where, where, where we were strong at. So when you look at their invasion, they're, they're, they're invading for, for money purposes. So that the heart of it is, we, we're so disconnected from working together, we allow for folks to infiltrate us. And, we, and by the time we realize what's going, what, what is taking place, we lose who we are. There's no problem for the Arabs, you know, you know when you talk about from seven miles to eight miles, they, they're only, they own the, all the, um, they own the uh, Coney Islands in the area. Know, which, which competes with uh, 1700 Bristol, uh, Bristol or whatever the name place. Uh, you look at the, um, the the jazz the jazz joint over there on Eight Mile and Livermore. You know, that, that went through some economic struggles. So it's fundamentally about us supporting each other. But it, that that base there, it cannot just be centered there. It has how how does that money that we generate specific, speaking specifically to black people? Who are who are all doing well? Who are wealthy? How does that trickle down to those of us who are not doing well? So each and every one of us are accountable to each and every one of us to to, to make it. So you know when you look at um, you know Black Bottom, um, Black Bottom was the one of the most historical areas and black areas in here in the Midwest, maybe in the country at one point in time, that that community was destroyed to make room for a black I mean, for um, for the subways. But historically, you look at it, we had black banks. We had black, we had barber shops, we had miles of pop stores. I mean, we had, we, we had, what you, you name it, we had in that community. We were self-sustaining in that community because, again, poverty was every reason to work together. 
Harvey was every reason you, your penny, my quarters, my dimes. We we so we spent our money with each other, and once we spent our money with each other, we began to flourish. We create jobs. We create hope. We create peace. We create love. We create freedom. We create self determination out of our money, not for the sole purpose of an individual, but the sole purpose of that neighborhood, of that community, of the black nation. I believe this is a great initiative, man, in particular of, of people power, of us not waiting on someone else to come, come save ourselves, of us saving ourselves. It, it shows the, the creativity, it, it shows the uniqueness, it shows the ability of, of use, using our, our uh, God-given talent. You know, when you look at black people, that, that has been our saving grace, that has been our ability to, to put ourselves out of some tough situations. It's our ability to love ourselves, ability to have hope and work that hope for better tomorrow. So that's why I support this, this initiative by these young brothers.